Uh, pyrolysis is a thermochemical decomposition reaction. And it happens in high temperatures and in the absence of oxygen. It is used for organic materials. So it breaks the molecules of material in high temperature and the material is usually solid and then it becomes to liquid and gas and carbon remains. Here is pyrolyzed carbon. The processed material will go to here. There is a special airlock system which makes it possible that the process will not have oxygen. And then with the conveyor the material goes to reactor and here it goes in a temperature of about 500 degrees and it will be vaporized and the vapors will go here through the pipe to outside where is a distillation system. And the solid material which remains go through a special airlock system to a conveyor which is which it will be cooled and removed outside. And so the steam goes through the pipe to a special distillation system and there it will be distillate to oil which goes to tank and the gas which is remaining will be compressed. There are some ways to which, which are very difficult to handle with, with or let's say very challenging to handle with, with pyrolysis treatment. The best material is, is a material which is made of hydrocarbon, for instance plastics and rubber. But also biomaterials are very favorable. The pyrolysis is produced from organic material, oil, gas and carbon. And of course, if the input material contains some other substances, like if you use old tires for input, there is always a steel, because steel are used, used in re, for reinforcement of tires, then the steel remains and it, it can be separated from the solid end product. For producing of, of fuels with pyrolysis, we need one thirty of the energy what that end product contains. So if we use, for instance, 10 kilowatt hours for producing oil, the oil contains energy of 300 kilowatt hours. So it's 30, about 30 times more. So our process is very energy efficient. In sophisticated pyrolysis, all end yields can be collected. So there will, there will be no harmful emissions. And that's very, one very important. And all end product can be used for as it is or after uh, further processing. For instance, with carbon it is possible to make activated carbon. Which, which can be used for purification of water, for instance. Comparing the initiation, it's, it's, they are so different things because the initiation you are actually destroying all the material. And but with pyrolysis you are making a new raw materials. In pyrolysis uh, business, it's actually kind of new coming now. There hasn't been operators, there has been experiments a lot, but there hasn't actually been many remarkable operators so far, but many are coming. There are both very big companies involved and also, also smaller companies like ours. I think this is also something that was this coming yet. The legislation authorities, they don't know pyrolysis so far. They know something, but there is not a good legislation and that, that is a drawback at the moment because authorities are, authorities are always very careful when there is something new and we are anxious to wait what will be happen next uh, 
we know that the bio, bio oils are tax free and if it's made of, of material which is originally made of crude oil then it will be taxed. Price of oil now it's very low but th this is temporary. Uh, I believe that this is, it's temporary and if you if you look back 10 years it has been rising all the time. There will be a lot of of hope in in this field field of business. There are many projects all over all the world and, and I think pyrolysis is, is coming very very fast and very strong.